Please welcome to the stage Mr. Billy Ward and his trio Barry Coates and Bill Ormson. demonstrated with accenting the second note inside those doubles. How, how would you get your students to achieve that? What do you tell them to do? Oh, I'm going to give you something really good now. It's a great question and something I've realized people need to be shown more of. I'm happy to share it. First of all, I believe you have to have a very, very strong fulcrum where the stick is pivoting. If this is moving around, you don't have a shot at this, okay? This is the only place, if you're going to be tense, that, that you are tense. And in my case, I put the stick right across this finger because that gives me extra protection on the bottom. If I'm here and I'm playing hard, see this jump out muscle? If I'm playing down here on a loud gig, this, this is going to hurt like crazy at the end of the gig. And it's just too easy to knock the stick out. So this is a very solid fulcrum and I recommend it for most all drummers. Certain hand sizes it doesn't work. So here's what you do. It's one stroke. Chapin's probably shown this. It's actually one stroke. It's, it's this. See, all I'm holding now is the fulcrum, or pivot. Now, after that first note sounds, in slow motion, I'm going to do it. So I go down, and then I grab. And the grab... It's kind of hard to do slowly. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how guys do. That's how I get power. Right. It's like I'm aware of that. So if I'm riding jazz, I'm getting three out of it. 
Or maybe four. Chapin told me he could never do that. Every once in a while I can get five on a pad of movie. Of course, you know, Mike Mangini just goes uh. But So, see if you don't have the fulcrum, then it ain't gonna happen. So, it should really be that nice of a open bounce. You go. So it's just like I'm doing this. I'm not really moving more than, I'm not getting tired. I can do this all night. <laughs> 